are paying more for just about everything these days, including car insurance, which saw its biggest jump in 40 years. Fortunately, seven on your side's Nina Pineda is here with some tips to help you save. Nina? All right, Buck, who are we going to blame here? Three factors car repairs, parts, and labor, all more expensive. Now we got climate change, you know, has led to more cars being damaged by Mother Nature. And apparently, after the pandemic, we all forgot how to drive because plenty more accidents and serious accidents involving litigation led to prices zooming from zero to 60 quick. Not just more car wrecks, more car thefts, plus catastrophic weather events have sent car claims through the sunroof. This is really the, one of the worst environments for uh, insurance losses that I've ever seen. Paul Tatro would know he's a senior advisor with the National Trade Association for Home, Auto and Business Insurers, APCIA. We've seen troubling trends with driving behavior and the resulting cost of accidents. Premiums nationwide surged this year to $2,543. That's a 26% jump over last year, costing us 529 bucks more out of pocket. New Yorkers have it even worse. The cost to insure a car more than doubled in the Empire State. Break for it, $3,000. $848 a year. You can save by paying your entire car insurance annual amount at once. That is often cheaper than breaking out the payments quarterly or even monthly. NerdWallet suggests drivers request a policy review with their own companies first, then shop around. So use an online comparison tool to enter your information, run a search of the rates that you can get, practice pulling in different types of insurance. For example, your homeowner's insurance, see if adding an Another car to that same policy can reduce your overall package of what you're paying. You could increase your deductible and decrease any non-essential coverage. And discounts apply for students with good grades. Just show your report card. Seniors and members of the military get discounts too. You can also sign up for something called telematics insurance. That's usage-based coverage, which monitors your driving habits to see how fast you drive and how much you brake and can give you discounts if you drive less or are safer than your average driver. Your behavior will be monitored by an app or a plug-in device. Anything that lets you show that you're a less risky driver gives you or has the potential to give you a lower rate. The big takeaway, some more tips to save. If you're car shopping, vehicle type can make a big difference in premiums. Also, you can sign up for a defensive driving course that's worth about 10% off your bill. And then repairing your credit score. I did not know this will help you save. Apparently, good credit is a sign that you're less risky behind the wheel. Not something for me. Sandra, back to you. <laughs>